then um yeah i need to get some some stuff in here so yeah. and decorate it out so uh anyway but uh-uh go outside and play i'm listening to fully cinematic but yeah I, I, so um we're going to uh proceed with our show this evening even though i sacrificed a chance to see the menu which i want to see terry has no desire to see it um but it looks like it's got a great cast and uh i should have known that every time i download those passes or try, it's just not going to work out where i can go no 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 so how long was the drive going to be to that 50, 58 minutes oh that's not bad not bad at all i still wouldn't do it but it's not bad <laughs> um and that's like Terry. Terry's like, you drive all the way just for a movie? I said, absolutely. It's, something it's not see. driving there that's the problem. It's driving back that's the issue. Yeah, well, that's true. Could you think about it? You're going to have 20 minutes of previews to that 720, then the little commercial to you know for the theater. That So you probably really are starting at 730, and then it's probably a close to two hours, not just over. But we'll say two hours just for standard. Yeah. So you're looking at 930, getting out, getting on the road. Oh, it'd be, yeah, it'd be really late. So Not to mention... You're going to be driving back after sitting back and relaxing in a <laughs> dark room yeah. for two hours. So yeah. you're yeah. probably not going to be that alert on the road driving home. Exactly. So it's, it's, de it's definitely a big um, chance to do, the, you know, do stuff like that. So I did go one time to, uh, to win a movie, but I went to see a, a band up in Charlotte. They were kind of an unknown band, and I was determined to see them. And Terry didn't think I was going. And I finally... Just said, you know what? I'm I'm going to see this band. So I told her one day before I was leaving, and she said, well, "Where are you at?" I said, "I'm getting ready to go to Charlotte." She said, "For what?" I said, "I told you I was going to go see the band." She said, "Were you serious?" I said, "Yep." She's like, "Oh my lord!" So she <laughs> said, "Be careful." Be careful. And, but I went, and I told her, I said, "In fact, oh, I'm so glad we talked because about this because tomorrow night I have got to check because one of my all-time favorites is playing in Augusta." If you, and I'm going to see if there's tickets. And if there's if there's tickets, I'm going to go see him. She was telling me about that too. She said, "You can I cannot believe you would drive to Augusta." I said, "If he's playing, I'm going." So, oh. Lindsey Buckingham. Oh uh, yeah, you did tell me you were a fleet with Max. Yep. yep, that's my group. And and uh, we saw Stevie a couple of weeks ago at the in Charleston, and she looked good. But Lord, time is definitely taking its toll. All of my idols are. <laughs> getting up there so but uh anyway so but yeah i want to I, I said nah i just decided not to go tonight i said it just wasn't gonna work out so but um anyway but uh so glad we're getting a chance to talk about some stuff because i had been invited to go see um wakanda forever tomorrow night so and i'm not i'm not sure that i'm gonna get to that either so kind of bums me out but mm -hmm. so but i can we can definitely uh get some feedback on it because I know you've had a chance to see it but uh so I'm gonna have to bite my tongue when I discuss it <laughs> now you know what you could I mean as far as me I, you can say whatever but because spoilers don't really bother me oh, so because yeah. um, there are some pretty big surprises in this movie mm. okay well we have so let's need to do our intro there with our everybody that's listening in so please thank you for joining us for I'm fully cinematic. Another episode. Hope y'all will um, subscribe and like and share your thoughts and comments with us on the on the on the uh, channel. And uh, feel free to come back and visit and tell your friends about us and subscribe so you can know when we got a new uh, episode out there. So, um, so tonight, um, I mean, I think that probably is probably the biggest news of the moment is um, the release of Wakanda Forever. Although I'm surprised that the I was kind of surprised about the uh, the money that was brought in. Didn't you think it was kind of low? Uh, no, because it. They, I mean, it didn't. It, set, it didn't set records, though. I don't think. Uh, I mean, maybe some. Yeah, they did. They it set the record for November releases. It got, the, it, it got the highest uh, opening for a November movie release. But it, said it, but it was number two behind something else. I'm trying to remember what I read. For because 2022, it was second behind um, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. But that movie... It almost, didn't beat that? That movie almost made a billion dollars. Who cares? So I care. Hmm. So it's a good movie. 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yes, you haven't seen it. It's good. <laughs> oh, no, and I don't. I don't plan on it. So, um, wait a minute. Did did I see it, Doctor Strange and what? Oh, you didn't see it. Oh, that's because. No, I think I did. This is the one that stars. Uh, hold on, man. Let me look at that up. I mean, I think I did see it. I've never heard you mention one word about it. Um. Oh, that was Doctor Strange too. Oh no! <laughs> Teams up with a mysterious teenage girl with from his dreams. Who could, no, 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 no! I didn't see that crap. No. So it was. A, so that budget for that movie was two hundred million, and it made nine hundred fifty-five point seven. And it would have made a billion dollars if they were smart enough to leave it in theaters for more than forty-five days instead of throwing it on streaming. Now, I will say I'm shocked at the director. I did not realize that Sam Raimi was the director. Yeah, he threw some, some, he drew on his horror influences for that movie, too. I am shocked. You know what? That um, movie, that movie actually, they, they maybe should have waited and released the movie closer to Halloween because the movie features a, a zombie, a witch, and several, Doctor Strange does and several demons. Well, I'm sorry, but he's never gonna be able to outdo what his, his what he's most famous for. So that's that's just mm-mm. what the Evil Dead. And the Evil Dead made uh, peanuts compared to this. Oh well, please, that was such an independent. I call it independent. That was on such a low budget film, but it's definitely one of the best horror movies of all time. No, it's not. Oh yes, it's that thing. I can't even watch it again. That thing terrified me to death. So I can't. Mm-mm. That, I thought that, that was a comedy, one of those comedy horror hybrids. Oh no, no! I remember when I was a kid looking at that thing. That thing freaked me out so bad. And of course, it had to do with the witches and the demons and stuff in it. Mm-mm. No, it always seemed like trash to me. I didn't watch. <laughs> so you, that wasn't trash. The Evil Dead Two was trash, or whatever. The what was the other one he did where the main character ended up having a chainsaw for an arm or something? I don't know. So. But um, but yeah, I didn't realize he directed that. So, uh, but anyway, so. you know, he directed the that Spider Man trilogy that you like. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's true. So I so I have to give him credit, but I just got to. I can't stand that character though. Oh God, him and who's the what's the character? What's the Marvel's comic character that's got the wings? Looks like the FTD Flores guy. Wings on his head? Yeah. Nobody. It, it is. There's the guy. There's a character that's got these little wings that. Kind of go back. Nobody has wings on his head. Let me. You just wait. Let me look it up. Hold on. Oh, and what's the, what's the guy's name? The actor's name that plays it. Uh. Oh my gosh. Um. <laughs> I gotta find it now. Um. Marvel Comics character, because this I'm telling you. Uh. Or maybe it's lightning bolts or something on his head. I don't know. Um. Flash. That's DC. No. Um, what is the guy? I think I can't. Oof. Um, now let's see. All right, so let's see. All right, so we got. Good lord, how many characters are there? Jeez. Um, well, we haven't seen Sabretooth yet, have we? Has he come out? He was in a couple of those Fox, 20th Century Fox movies. Oh, my gosh. I swear. They were trash. Um, well, that's going to get on my nerves now. I'm going to have to find... Um, uh, I'm gonna have to find it because I, he doesn't. Oh, what is his? Oh, geez. I'll it's probably, find, it. it's probably I'll find some, it. You're probably confusing it, Marvel, with some trash character from the Evil Dead. <laughs> no, it is Marvel. I'm telling you because I'm like, this is ridiculous. So that that crown just looks. All right, it's not Michael Fassbender. A crown? It's like a crown or something with these things that stick up. Um, oh. Are you talking about Loki? Yes. Those are horns that curve. 
Well, whatever. It's hideous. Horns and wings don't look alike at all. <laughs> uh, well, it's still horrible. So, um, and what's his name? Loki. Yeah, he's from Norse mythology. Oh, he's got a, a television show too. On where's it? On uh, Disney Plus. Hmm. Yeah, it's trash. Yeah, I won't be watching that. So, and look, it is horns. You're right, but I swear I thought I saw something like the FTD get FTD guy. Um, part of Marvel, but whatever. So, uh, so well, how so how does the uh, what kind of fair to all the let's, stuff? Let's let's circle back to that before we get to that. Let's talk about something that we both can participate in. Let's get into Black Adam. Oh, do you really want to go there? Yes. Oh my God, that that. Okay, well, I'm just going to tell everybody my opinion. Well, first of all, I, I think the, if anybody has watched the show, they know that I'm just not a big fan of comic books or films based on comic book characters and heroes. Uh, Unless it's Joker, Iron Man, <laughs> Joker, Harley well, Quinn, or Infinity War. That Those were good, yes. I will say that, yes. So, well, let's just say my overall, I'm just not a big fan, but... The only pro the problem I had with Black Adam was just the acting was so atrocious. It was horrible. I didn't have a problem with the acting. I just thought that it was too much cheese in the movie. It some of the yeah, some of the um some of the things they were saying, just, I don't know. I just it, it just didn't I, I just couldn't get into it. And the people I was with, they were like, mm, they said a the thing after they were they they just and they're they love anything with comic, you know comic book characters and this kind of film, the action film stuff, and um, they just were, they were the same way. They're like, it just didn't, it just didn't do it for them. It had a lot more camp than they really needed. It was because, like, having having, like, the the logo, the Hawkman logo <laughs> on the seats and the jet and stuff like like, you don't need to do stuff like that. We were one... I, <laughs> Well, now I'm confused that you maybe so. This is a good time for you to explain it. So, why did he? Why was he saying Shazam? That's well, they didn't really get into that in this movie because him and the actual character named Shazam have mm. pretty much the same backstory. So, they mm. I guess they figured that most people had already seen that movie, so they just skipped the origin. But there's a wizard named Shazam who granted those powers to him. And it also acts as an acronym. Like each letter is the first letter of a. In Shazam's case, there it's the first letter of a, somebody from Greek mythology. Mm. But in Black Adam's case, it's the each letter of Shazam represents a, a different deity from, I think, Egyptian mythology. Mm. So, like okay. with Shazam, or the actual superhero named Shazam, it's like. Uh, you know, the Z is for Zeus, and one A is for Ares, I think, and another A is for... Um, that's too much. That's just... Dana, and that's the, just the, the M is for Mercury, and... Oh, God. I think the, I don't, the S may be for Saturn, and the H may be for Hephaestus or something like that. Oh, my God. I don't know the Egyptian oh. um, names as well. What... um, But, I mean, are, isn't there a new Shazam coming out? I, th I think I saw a preview. Yeah, it comes out next year. Yeah, okay. You got pushed back. And it doesn't look too promising, to be honest with you. So it's, um, The first one was goofy, so I don't expect well, this, this one to be any different. Of, yeah, I think this one's going to be kind of goofy, too, and I don't, yeah. Yeah, I'm not really into that. I'm surprised they haven't come out with the Almighty Isis character yet. This well, character. Isis was in Black Adam. She just didn't become that. She didn't get powers yet. Ah, okay. So right. Ariana? Yeah, yeah. She becomes Isis later on. Oh, Ooh, okay. But he has to share his powers with her. That's mm. how she becomes a hero. I um and now you know I mean there was I don't know overall there was there were some good moments. I don't want to say the movie was total trash, but um yeah, it wasn't total trash. It was it, just, it, was, it was certainly I mean it was Shakespeare compared to Birds of Prey. Oh God, um. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't know. I just, uh, I, I mean, my thing was, I just, I thought there would have been a, been a little bit more 
I don't know. The, the Rock's acting just – I thought he had come a long way in terms of his acting skills. And this one, I just felt like he just was set back. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, but, I mean, it's made a lot of money. So, it's not like he's hurt himself by doing it. So, um, it's been mean, fairly they, well. They haven't broken even yet. And I, I'm not sure they will. Ooh, okay. Mm. Um, so it made three hundred fifty-one million dollars so far, and it probably cost what two hundred. Yeah, so they're gonna to break even. They're gonna need more than four hundred million. Well, I'm sure they're probably. I mean, is that just U.S. dollars or that? It's already been out. That's worldwide, and it's already oh, been out. Oh. It's already it, been out for almost a month now. So. Mm, and that's the worldwide in take in. Oh no, yeah. that's that's not a good sign. So plus now with Wakanda Forever out in theaters. There's not too many people. If, if anybody that wants to see a comic book movie is probably going to choose that one. Oh yeah. So what? Um. How do you think it could have been improved? I think that they should have taken the cheesiness out. They should have been a little more serious. They because they had kind of a super friends vibe going on, and I <laughs> yeah, kind of forgot about that. Super I never liked that cartoon. Not even when I was a kid. That was and I didn't now. Which that's so weird because I used to watch that when I was a kid. I hated I that because of that cartoon. Well, that was part of the reason. I had no respect for the Justice League, Superman, Batman, or any of those characters mm. until later on. Like I didn't. I had no respect for the Joker until. I saw Jack Nicholson, Nicholson's version. I had no respect for Batman until that same movie. Um, Superman, I didn't like Superman until Henry Cavill's version. Mm. So, yeah, Super Friends did a lot of damage to DC characters, in my opinion. I used to love that show. Saturday morning? Oh, yeah. I remember that. No, nah, that was like the epitome of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are so... Total opposites, I swear, as far as when it comes to these things, uh, as far as the comic book stuff. But um, it just seemed like the type of like, I know some people like to say that certain things have a, a a certain type of tone because it's meant for kids. But when I was a kid, that type of stuff insulted me. It seemed like you were talking down to me and treating me like a baby. Mm. Well, good lord, how were you at the time when it? Dang, John, you're you got kids and grandkids. You know perfectly well <laughs> that kids do not like to be treated like babies. Yeah, but I mean, but that would think, but see, back in my time when that was my age and everything, I mean, that didn't bother me. We weren't thinking about that. I was, I was like, this is why are you giving me this when? I've already seen like they had a they had Transformers the movie for instance even though it was rated mm -hmm. PG yeah they had a lot of death in that movie plus they had cursing in that movie and it was animated it was 2D animation and they mm -hmm. really meant it when they presented a war between these two different robot factions so when mm -hmm. you give me something like Super Friends I'm like <laughs> And the Wonder Twins and all that stupid stuff. The the monkey with the costume. Oh, that was horrible. Now that was horrible. Yeah, get out yeah, of here. Yeah, no, no, I'm sorry. That just that really drew the line. So that was mm, no. Um and so. then like Wonder Woman with the, the invisible jet. I was I didn't understand why they even did that. Like, so I'm just supposed to see some lady. Looking like she's sitting down, flying across the sky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So why? And that's the thing is, why was the jet so women? So she was in the invisible jet. So she, had, but when she get so when, when she was in it, she was invisible too, right? Well, the way they showed it on screen, you could see her, but everything. Well, else. that's what I. Yeah, that's what looked yeah. so stupid. I mean, because I kept thinking, I used to think that I'd be just like, well, why if she's sitting up there just acting like she's flying? Why can't they shoot her down with a a rocket or something? I never yeah, so stupid. get that. Yeah. Um, Man, I forgot about um, Wonder. I forgot about Wonder Twins. Though. That was horrible. They were about to make a Wonder Twins movie. Uh, um, I think <laughs> earlier this year, but they canceled it. Oh my god! Someone else just got canceled. I was reading about. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm, it's coming to my. Let me don't let me forget about it. Uh, because I was Margot Robbie was going to play in it. They were going to talk. They this isn't along the same lines, I guess, but. A female version of 
Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, they canceled that? They canceled it. Oh, okay. So I read that. That's something I read. Of course, I read that on fake book. So, that, you know, that might not be true. Because, you know, we talked about last time. Uh, who was that character that who was that character I told you was coming to? Oh, yeah. When you told me Adam Driver was Dr. Yeah, Adam Driver was about to be the. Yeah, I, I, I got to check. I got to do some research on you. Yeah, I haven't seen it. But what's funny is I'm not seeing anything else about that. Pirates of the Caribbean is owned by Disney. And they don't. Warner Brothers has a history of canceling stuff pretty casually. But Disney does not. Yeah. I mean, especially if you've already got some, I would think, some, like, investments in it as far as research and time and um, planning and stuff like that. I just can't imagine they would do it. And they had to do something with it because. Some of those movies have made over a billion dollars a piece. And Johnny Depp's already said that he would never work with them again. So you got to do something. You got to go a different direction with it. Well, and yeah, he doesn't have to ever work again, I would think. I mean, I, I don't know how much money she got out of him, or out of the, how much he had to pay for that out of that divorce. He had to give up $7 million, but, oh, after, that's all? but after he won that trial, he, it looks like he's supposed to be getting it back. <laughs> I mean, for him, that's pocket change i'm sure compared to you know based on what he i mean as long as he's invested everything wisely and not been well no he said that his um somebody i don't remember if it was his business manager or if it was his accountant but somebody had stolen a lot of his money Ooh, yep see you just think you can't trust anybody no <laughs> god nope. um so so going all right so going back to i wonder how much they paid the rock to, to do black adam um I'm just got to look and see if that's out there. Let's just see if they can estimate it. This says that it says he took home a this is as of October 29th of this year, uh, that he took home a sizable paycheck of $22.5 million. It's one of his well, this is several news sources are saying this, that it's one of his highest, one of the biggest salaries he's had. Uh and several on here have said that his salary has reportedly topped over $22 million. God. And he's already one of the highest paid actors, and yet he took on a $22.5 million. I was going to say, I don't understand why. What has he truly done that has made him work? He's been in a lot of big movies, but as the star, he has a lot of flops on his resume. Well, and now here's another article that says that he he took home a $10 million paycheck, but he also had profit sharing partnership in the film. He probably did with this, too, because so, yeah. he said that he's been trying to bring this to the screen since 2007. Now, here's. Oh, man. Well, he must not have got the money he did in this other thing there because they were I was just that's an old article about some show called Red Notice with Ryan Reynolds. No, that's a Netflix movie. Yeah, he apparently got a huge salary for that too, though. So and um, um and that's a worse movie than this is. <laughs> God, uh, so he definitely is not hurting from a salary perspective. Uh, but I just I don't know. I it just and I don't know. You know what? I, maybe I just need to. I also have My expectations are way too high when you go into a film like that because obviously he's not going into it for the quality. How, how can your expectations be too high when you hate on the whole genre every chance you get? It seems like your expectations because I have not would seen, be rock bottom. There's nothing I've seen that's even well. Now let me let me back up now. That's what doesn't make sense. How do you have high expectations when you don't like the because genre? because ninety percent of the what films I've seen have been trash. That's why you shouldn't have high expectations. What part of this <laughs> am I missing? Yeah, but I want, I want to be able to enjoy it and have. Uh... Like when I sat down to watch Cyrano, I had no expectation of any quality because just because of the fact that it's a musical. So I was shockingly surprised mm. when I liked it. Hmm. I really didn't even know. It was a musical, so. Oh, I knew. And so that kind of, and when I heard the first song and I really liked it, I thought, okay, I'm going to like this. So I just knew it. Um, 
but yeah, so you're right. I mean, I I do go in with way too high expectations when I go to see these films. Why? Wow. Take it as when I should just take it as just a popcorn film, a movie to just go in and gonna you know just chill and relax and enjoy it. You know, so oh, so it's not the movie's fault. It's your fault. Oh no, that movie was trash. So no, uh, you already you just told us that your expectations were too high. At, and true, but at the same time, even if my expectations were lower, that's still a trashy movie. So I'm sorry, that acting was horrible. It was atrocious. It was stupid. Nah, it wasn't the acting. It was the cheese ball um, tone of the movie. I mean, his just his his I don't know his motions and his movements and his demeanor. Just I was like, God, put some oomph into this character, you know, I mean, just... What kind of oomph? What was he supposed to break down crying? He's a a hero. (laughs) No, but at least when you're saying things, make it sound more real than just like you're reading, somebody standing over there with a cardboard thing for you to, you know, read off as you're quoting your... as you're reading your lines. I mean... I didn't get that impression not one time. Oh, it was horrible. Horrible. Uh, It wasn't the acting. Mm -mm. Mm-mm. So, but that's only that's that's but I also had a problem with the I thought they could have done a much better job with the the costumes because um like he had good choices, they just didn't use them long. Cause like when he the first time we saw him, he had that costume with the hood. Mm, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That looked a lot better than what he ended up with. Oh, that was, yeah, and I agree there. Absolutely. I mean, because that was more uh, well, it was. It was definitely. I don't it know, looked like real, it looked like real clothing because when yeah. what he ended up with kind of looked like body paint. Almost. <laughs> yeah, That's and true. also when they did the flashback to ancient times, even that get up looked good. The ancient, in e- fact, Egyptian looking outfit yes. that looked a lot better than the body paint. That was actually probably that's probably the in my opinion that's probably the better segment of the film was the flashback. Yeah, that's he should have kept that. that. He should have kept one of those costumes on the entire either that one or the hood. He should have used for the entire movie because that other thing that he ended up with it just looked dumb to me. Yeah, it just and it added to the cheese, just like uh, Hawkman, where he's got the little symbol of the bird head on his chest. That, was, <laughs> yeah. that, that type of stuff, I understand that, that that's what they use in the comic books, but these movies are always a chance to improve on mm. the comic books. You don't have to take all the trash along with you. <laughs> Can you imagine what if they had made the Wonder Twins, what that would have looked like? Oh my I, God. No, I would have been wondering because I wouldn't have watched. Uh, well, what gets me is now you got them making a live action version of Barbie. I'm not going to watch that. And I am absolutely just, I, I just can't believe that Ryan Reynolds is, is it Ryan Reynolds or Ryan Gosling, the Senate? Gosling. I, I just, I, I don't even know what to say about that. I, I just, why, why do we need a real live action version of Barbie? I, I don't get it. I don't need it, but there's <laughs> different audiences in the world. So, I, yeah, I'm not mm-hmm. going to, you know, some people might love what they put together. It just doesn't sound like it's my cup of tea. Well, they better be careful because they would get sued because I never will forget that one time that group came out with a song, Barbie Girl or something, and they got sued by Mattel or whoever it was that owns the Barbie and they ended up having to pay over a ton of money. Now that's what they ever did, and they never came back with another hit. So I guess they had to because they probably lost all their money. And they already talked to that group, and they said they're not going to use that song in the movie. Well, probably not because they. Pro- I'm sure whoever does it on Barbie probably don't want it. So, and they probably refused after they get, got sued. So, if that actually now that's what I had read. I'm assuming that it still ha- it actually did happen. But um, and I guess they probably either settled or something. On it, but um, which I never could stand that song anyway. But um, so, but um, I'm trying to think if there's any other. But also, what did you think about the end credit or the mid credit scene? Did oh, that we did stay, and that I, I didn't. I was like, "What?" We all looked at each other. Like, That's it. Yeah, I didn't really. I, I it didn't do anything for us, so. Yeah, and they did you notice that they used the uh, they went back to the old school 
Superman theme song. No. Yeah, they used the John Williams song from the 70s and 80s. Mm. Okay. I thought they... So... They probably should have gone with the more recent version, too. So, what's the next... What's the next tie-in to, to that one? Or the next Marvel? Well, that's yeah. DC, not Marvel. I mean, DC, yeah. I think Shazam is next. Shazam, the Shazam sequel. But Black Adam's not going to be in it, though. Well, have they already discussed anything, you know, about a sequel to this one? Or like a follow-up? No, they're... they're well, no, not if they can't be breaking... Yeah, they have, if they're not even breaking even, how can they even do another one? So... I mean, they might because um, they put so much promotion behind this. They've been talking about it for years, so they might do another one regardless of the money, but they should probably get a new director because somebody else, like, I think Christopher Nolan, for instance, could have made a, a great movie out of this. But who, was the director, who was the director on this one? Do you remember? I've never heard of this dude before. Um Jean, Jean Collet Serra? I don't know what that is. He's Spanish, Spanish American. Um, hmm. so, oh yeah, Jean Collet Serra. Let's see what else he directed. Um, the uh, the movies on his resume don't look good either. He directed Jungle Cruise. So that's probably why The Rock hired him for this. Oh, okay. But but he did the shallow. I oh, know he was the producer for the shallows. Okay, the shallows wasn't that great anyway. Oh, I love that movie. That was great. That was so good. Oh man, you crazy. That was a see. That's what I mean when it comes to your. Uh, <laughs> you like trash, but see, you I, I went no. I went in not expecting anything out of that film because I thought it's going to be nothing but a jaws rip off. But it surprisingly turned out to be a little bit more action and a lot more. Uh, it was better than I expected. Let me put it that way. So you were more fair to the shallows than you were to this. Oh yeah, you should just confess. Yeah, yep, yeah, absolutely. Yep. So it's, like I said before, it's your fault, not the movie. Uh uh uh. You project. Hey, listen. You, you projected can't... your Superman bias again onto everybody. It must not be. Hey, listen. If this movie was as good as it was, it would not be sitting there trying to struggle to make make to uh make money. It's it's so it's not just me. It's word of mouth. Trash. Well, The Shallows made less than half of what this movie made. But it's got much better positive feedback. But you that. just made the case that money was the proof that the movie was bad. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. You always push my words. You said, you said it's not. Oh, it's just keep, hold on, uh, hold on. The shallows, the budget for the shallows was seventeen million. That movie made a hundred and nineteen point one U.S. dollars. What was the budget for Jaws? That made more than one hundred nineteen. Oh, Jaws! But that that movie that was that was it. That's the grandfather of Blockbuster. You can't even compare. So it. don't try to don't try to compare. Oh no, you and box even, box that, Listen, that, you can't even compare that movie. That movie's like that thing is made so many times more than what it's. Oh, exactly. It so the fact that the Shallows made seventeen million dollars is not an excuse. No, it was it. It cost seventeen million dollars, and that's it. not an excuse to only make a hundred. And it made a hundred and twenty million. A hundred nineteen million. Well, a hundred ninety. Fully cinematic.